The Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies in the universe. So, from a cosmic perspective, the Milky Way is nothing special. But zoom in closer, and the situation is different. More and more observations suggest that the Milky Way is located at the center of a gigantic cosmic void. This is the largest cosmic void ever observed. Astronomers first proposed the concept of a void in 2013. Since then, evidence of its existence has continued to grow. But the problem is, this vast void shouldn't exist in the first place. If it exists, it means that something is wrong with our understanding of the universe. Current cosmological models suggest that the universe has a relatively uniform distribution of matter on a large scale. This principle is very important because, by assuming homogeneity, scientists can apply the laws of physics of nearby objects to objects at the edge of the universe. In other words, everything operates under the same universal laws. It's a simple and straightforward way to explain the universe. It says that if matter is evenly distributed in the universe, then voids should not exist. However, the existence of such a gigantic cosmic void, with a size that exceeds any predictions, raises many questions about the accuracy of these models. Some scientists suggest that the existence of this void may require us to adjust or even reconsider some of the fundamental assumptions in cosmology. However, many observations over the past decade have shown that matter in the universe can clump together to form regions of high or low density, meaning it may not be as uniform as we thought. According to Indranil Banik, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of St. Andrews, speaking to Business Insider, it is clear that we are currently in a region of the universe with a very low density. Bannock is a co-author of a paper published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society in November 2023. The paper suggests that we may be living at the center of a void called the KBC Void. It is about 2 billion light-years wide and could contain 20,000 galaxies. The KBC Void is not completely empty. This is impossible because we are living in it. But if Bannock and his colleagues' calculations are correct, then this region will be 20% emptier than the space outside its boundary. According to recent research, it may not seem like a big difference, but it's enough to cause some puzzling behavior in the region of the universe near us. Specifically, nearby stars and galaxies are moving away from the Milky Way faster than they should. Cosmologists have a variable called the Hubble constant to describe the accelerating expansion of the universe. No matter where we look, whether near or far, the Hubble constant has the same value. The problem is that galaxies near the Milky Way seem to be moving away from us faster than the Hubble constant predicts. This has essentially violated the cosmological principle. Astronomers cannot agree on the cause of the difference in the Hubble constant. This dispute is called the Hubble tension. Hubble tension refers to the discrepancy between measured values of the Hubble constant from different methods. Specifically, there are two main approaches to determining the constant. One is direct measurement from observations of nearby galaxies and supernovae. The other is indirect measurement from observations of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. These two methods yield values for the Hubble constant that do not quite match creating a tension in explaining the expansion rate of the universe. This discrepancy is one of the major unsolved problems in astrophysics, as it may imply that there is something we don't fully understand about the nature of the universe. Bannock believes that the void could be an answer because denser regions with stronger gravitational forces outside the void could be pulling galaxies towards them and away from us. He believes that the state of objects moving away from us, or the outflow, could explain why cosmologists calculate a higher value for the Hubble constant when observing nearby objects, because objects move faster in the space flying from empty regions into the crowded universe. If the void really exists, it means that some laws of cosmic physics need to be modified. Ultimately, Bannock's theory could explain why the Hubble constant in the Milky Way region is higher. Brian Keating, a cosmologist and physics professor at the University of California, San Diego, who has studied this phenomenon, told Business Insider in an email. 
The hypothesis that local voids induce large outflows to explain the Hubble tension seems plausible, especially considering the observational data supporting it. But there are still some questions that need to be answered. First, how large is the void's influence? Keating says, if the local void is not representative of the larger universe, then this is just a local explanation and will basically not solve the Hubble tension problem. Keating also points out that Banach's theory has certain limitations. The results of this study depend on the type of void model used. Different models will make different predictions about the effects of voids and bulk flows, or the average speed of galaxies as they move through the universe. Additionally, models can only provide a simplified picture of the true situation of the void. All this means that the void may provide an answer, but this is still not clear evidence to resolve the Hubble tension question, Keating wrote. Other solutions, such as early dark energy, also need to be considered. As Keating said, this theory proposes a new form of energy that affects the expansion rate of the early universe, ultimately leading to the Hubble tension we observe today. However, Banach points out that the early dark energy theory contradicts certain facts about the universe. For example, the age of old stars must be modified to make it reasonable. Otherwise, their age will be older than the universe itself. So, he still adheres to the void theory. His next research project will analyze supernova data to determine if the Hubble constant outside the void returns to the value predicted by the standard cosmological model. If his theory is correct, then there will be no Hubble tension outside the void's boundary. Bannock said, that's the main thing that makes me a little uneasy. I'm worried about whether supernovae are a sign that the universe is actually expanding faster, and moreover, there is no edge to the void. But for now, the Hubble tension remains an unsolved mystery. Despite many efforts to solve this problem, including the use of advanced observational tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, the answer is still unclear. The discrepancy in measurements of the Hubble constant may indicate that we are missing a crucial element in understanding the expansion of the universe.